Hey, this is Swedish Guitar Nerd, and uh, today I'm gonna talk about setting up your guitar. Or some parts of setting up your guitar at least. Uh, I bought this CST24 Harley Benton guitar. And it came with uh, some needs for adjustments. Uh, the thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna adjust the truss rod. The truss rod, something a lot of people seem to be, I don't know, afraid of doing, yeah, but yeah, you shouldn't be. Uh, the truss rod is uh, basically one giant thing here with a long screw going through it, and when you adjust the screw, you uh, actually adjust the bow or the neck, because a guitar neck is not supposed to be super flat. It's supposed to have this slightly concave thing to it. Uh, so, in order to adjust that perfectly, you need a truss rod. If the guitar isn't made of materials that will never change. Well, wood is not one of those, and I don't know why people still are making guitars out of wood. But that's the case, and that's why we need truss rods. So when you release the tension, uh, you turn the <laughs> truss rod thingy left, uh, you release the tension, and then you uh, basically uh, release tension on the neck, so then the strings can uh, yeah, force it to bend more like this. And if you tighten it, then the, the opposite happens, it just, yeah, the neck becomes more strong than the strings, basically, so it's tilts back and this one oh sorry drop my pick uh, this one is buzzing uh, a clear indication of that you need to adjust the truss rod because this is it buzzes like crazy on the middle of the neck but not at the top uh, or yeah the top <laughs> is this the top the bottom, the top. It's not as bad, but especially here, it's not that bad. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna try to do. I'm gonna release the tension of this neck because it seems to have a, a bow to it, so it's higher in the middle than anything else. And it's supposed to be the other way around. So, what do you do? Well, in this case, it's very easy. You just remove the truss rod cover and it's one screw. Usually you have several screws for... I don't know why. It's just a plastic piece, usually. As in this case. d -locks. And in here... If we ever can get anything to show this. There is a... Yeah, it's basically a screw. You need an Allen key to turn it. And it goes all the way from, whoops, from here down to, I don't know, here somewhere. Different from different guitars. If you have the ones where you adjust the truss rod down here, it usually goes all the way through the neck. Which I don't think is the case with this one. So yeah, Allen key. And then we just... Oh. There we go. Now we just release some tension. We'll start a bit at a time and then I'll adjust it and I'll get back here. You you should take it step by step, not do too much because this affects a lot, so you just... Usually a quarter turn is enough if it's slightly out of where you should want to have it. This is kind of bad, so I probably need to do a, a, some more turning of it. But just do a little bit at a time and then we'll tune it up and see if it does the trick. 
So I'll get back to you right soon. See you. Okay, I'm back again with the CST24. And well, this has to go back to Torman, I'm afraid. Uh, I've loosened the truss rod and it made minor to no difference at all. Uh, and it wasn't really adjustable that far. You can just do maybe parts of a turn and then it was completely loose. And the uh, high strings still sound like this. They're bussing all over the neck and even worse <laughs> in the middle of the neck actually so um, I even tried changing the strings made no difference at all so well mr. 376 that has done the quality control on this guitar uh, you did a bad job, and I've been told that, uh, you know, uh, Harley Bentons are so much better now, and the quality control is so much better, and uh, everything is... Blah, 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 and they're sent to Denmark, and people are checking them, and it's something wrong, they're throwing them away. Well, what happened with this guitar then? Because <laughs> this was not right, and it's not set up, and... Uh, <sighs> just annoys me. On top of this, the intonation wasn't set, and uh, I mean, this has this thing that's adjustable for the B and G string, and it wasn't in the right place, and it was actually a bit loose, so it was moving. So what did you do about the quality control there then, Torman? Uh, I'm very disappointed, very, very disappointed. I've never seen this kind of low quality uh, from a brand new guitar uh, so besides the tv52 of course from harley benton again so in my opinion they seem to still be doing a bad job at making guitars well well we'll see so this is going back hopefully torman doesn't disagree but that will be another story. So, yeah. See you soon. This has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd. And uh, a very disappointed Swedish Guitar Nerd that is. So, yeah. See you. Bye.